And he's uh, with us, Levon Aronia, and congratulations on the semifinals. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you feeling you. after uh, a tough uh, fight, but also uh, some very nice games today, Levon? I think first uh, two games I played uh, in the same manner I played on the first day mm -hmm. uh, of this tournament. Very sloppy. Hmm. But... Uh, the third game, of course, uh, was a good game because uh, I checked my analysis and I think things worked uh, out nicely for me. Mm. You're very hard on yourself, uh, Levon. Is that uh, how you're usually at, calling your game sloppy and being very critical of your own games? Yeah, well, I'm trying to be objective, you know. Although, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm a... I'm a complete putzer, and then I think, well, <laughs> if I am a complete putzer, then what uh, some guys that are not very good at chess think. So, yeah, I'm I'm being critical because I know that I that I can play really well. Mm. So I expect a lot from myself. Mm. Yeah, we're impressed by those high standards you keep, Levon. And this was a difficult fight against Shakriar, but what are you expecting now? You're going to go through to face uh, Liam Kwangle. Yeah. Oh, he's a very good player, uh, very uh, tough uh, always to play against, uh, very resourceful. And uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to play against him because uh, I've played uh, one very tough match against him in Hantim Mansisk in the uh, World Cup. Mm -hmm. I was extremely lucky there. So, but uh, generally playing against him is interesting because he's a creative player. All right, yeah, could, could you, you sort of, what will be the tactics against him? What do you know, uh, or how will you describe his style? He's a very resourceful and a guy who looks for a fight, so I like it. Uh, I mean, he's a type of a player that I, uh, I can uh, count uh, myself also in, in, in this uh, list of players, the players who are never shy uh, against uh, battle and uh, well it will take uh, of course uh, some good preparation against him to highlight uh, his uh, weaknesses which are very few mm -hmm. okay i'm already looking forward to that semi-final match and i also want to ask you levon because you told us uh, before that you aim to move to st louis and i guess that is where liam stays so uh, or lives so so is he like a future training buddy for you well, uh, St. Louis has a lot of great players to yeah. offer, counting uh, from uh, Fabiano to Lanier. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited that uh, I, I will get to live in a city that has so many great players. Yeah. And how's that process going, Levon? Do you have any fixed plans to move over yet? Uh, there's still some paperwork, so, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm patient. <laughs> uh, being a chess player is <laughs> uh, you get this advantage that you're patient and you take things as they are mm. so let's let's see uh, how long it will take yeah and i have to ask you've had some wild games against shakriya mamajarov so how do you keep your composure when you have all these mind-boggling complications i know that i have to bring uh, my tactical uh, a game so in this third game, uh, I saw this Rook C6 idea, but then I thought, okay, this shouldn't work somehow. And then, uh, yeah, I managed to find this beautiful Bishop B3, Rook E8. The point is that after any Queen retreat, I have this Queen B6. There are so many pins. So, yeah, I think uh, main, my main focus in this match was uh, just to make sure I don't uh, blunder anything uh, terrible uh well i was i was still blundering but mainly <laughs> positional <laughs> all right Levon, it's been it's been a very entertaining match and uh, i'm looking forward to an entertaining entertaining match against liam in the semi-finals we wish you the best of luck thank you very much thanks for yes. joining us